What's up guys, this is Clay. I am the president and owner of Thunder Laser USA. And today we've got a project for you. Uh, we're gonna teach you how to do oversized signs. So this is going to be a video tutorial on the pass-through feature. So this is a print and cut is what they call this in light burn. So I cut half the design of this in one pass and then I do the other half of the design in another pass. So let's get started. All right guys, I'm over here at the computer and I'm just going to, I've typed in ELF SVG. I found this little guy that I like. I'm going to copy this image and I'm not selling this, so it doesn't matter what kind of license I have. Um, I'm gonna trace this image. And then I want to create an offset. Okay, and then I'm going to all this, so I'm gonna cut all this stuff on the outside, and then I'm going to score all this stuff where, uh, so I'm gonna take out all these other holes, one group, and now I'm going to, so I wanna make, I'm gonna have to cut this in half, and so a way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna draw a rectangle. My board is um, like 18 inches wide or so. So I'm gonna kind of make this uh, rectangle to be 18 by 11 because overall my item is yeah 20 inches. So if I do 11 and 11, I'll be able to get all 21 inches of height in here. Um, Okay, and then I'm going to draw some little registration marks. Then I want this to all be one unit, so I'm gonna group it. And then I wanna put this just inside. If you hit control, you can do little micro movements. And I'm gonna turn this to a different color. I'm going to Duplicate this. Okay, and then now I want to cut this. I'm gonna use this as a, I'm, gonna, I'm basically using the, the square as scissors. All right, so now I'm going to use this uh, blue square to cut this other shape, but I have to, all this has to be tools, cut shapes. So now I have two separate units. So now I'm going to create a separate, so now I've got two files here, guys. So I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna keep my registration marks and I'm gonna copy that. And then I'm going to just create. So this is elf top. This is L bottom. Okay, so now we just need to do our settings. Uh, so I wanna score this, uh, my registration marks real fast. Uh, so yeah, that's fine. And then to cut this, I'm going to do 10, 80. All right, so score, score, cut. And I'm gonna do my cut last. So I'm gonna move this layer down and then I'm gonna send it over. Okay guys, so we've got the the top cut. Now we're going to cut the bottom. So I've turned the piece of wood upside down in the laser. And what we have to do y'all is we, we drew these registration marks on this project. So now I have to tell Lightburn 
where these are in the machine, right? So I gotta, it, it needs that for feedback so that it can line up where the rest of the job is gonna go. So I'm going to move the laser head over into the exact middle of these crosshairs. So this, so if you hit manual, then you can hit this little bunny button and it goes from bunny or from tortoise to bunny. And that, that makes it go real slow. So now I can dial this in and I'm making little micro movements. And I can get it right there in the middle of the crosshairs. And then I'm gonna come over here to light burn. And I'm going to select that crosshair and I'm going to go to laser tools, print cut, start wizard. And then I'm gonna set that as my first uh, as my first target position. Now I'm gonna highlight my second target position and I'm gonna move the laser over to that second one. And it's pretty close. I'm gonna turn it back to tortoise just to get it real tight in there. So I got the second one done. I'm gonna hit set and then I'm gonna hit scaled. And then now you can see that we're using absolute coordinates um, all right, let me check my settings here. I'm gonna score these. Yep, yep, yep. And then I'm gonna check the frame. Well, that's a rock. Okay guys, so I got all my shapes over here and I'm just gonna send these over to, to cut them. Um, we're gonna do... Uh, 10 and... All right guys, so we got all the pieces uh, cut out and painted and now I'm just gonna glue them down. I will say one nice thing about scoring this is now I have uh, places where I can line these letters up. So keep that in mind. All right, guys, so there you have it. We got it all painted and glued down. Um, I hope this video was useful, talking about the pass-through and the print and cut feature. If you guys like videos like this, please subscribe to the channel and keep on lasering.